can you just share with us your uh, your experience? I mean, uh, with, uh, with this office in general, <laughs> you're. I know the initial time you came in, in, you had an emergency. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, let's see, when I first came in, I had uh, the... That tooth. Yeah, the very loose tooth. And you uh, did the uh, laser, the LNAP procedure on that tooth only, and uh, tightened it up and made it good for about another year. <laughs> it worked really well. It was extremely loose. It was originally loose from getting punched. And so it wasn't uh, like the normal type of looseness. It was, you know, real, <laughs> really right. loose. Yeah. And um, and you fixed it up real good. Uh, I probably just messed it up by, you know, biting on it too hard before it really got, you know, well healed or whatever. It could have been a little bit long, maybe hanging down yeah. a little bit far in the beginning, but you know, um, it lasted a lot longer. And then uh, and then I bit on it again and messed it up and came back in and you did the lenap on the whole mouth and splinted that one tooth mm -hmm. that was real loose and so now you know <laughs> now all my teeth are much tighter than they were before um, they moved around a little bit afterwards and settled into their into where they are now <laughs> and they're and they're tight it's like I have 17 year old gums now <laughs> that's great yeah. I mean uh, so that back to that uh, original said, tooth yes I remember when you came in, uh, I can literally, probably could have um, pulled that tooth with oh, my yeah. finger. Oh yeah, it was ready to fall. I could have pulled it right out with yeah. my finger, absolutely. And the, the x-ray showed that there was hardly any bone around it at all. Right. Yeah, it yeah. was basically flapping. And there was some, you know, uh, uh, bleeding it, going on. Oh yeah, yeah, everything. absolutely. But I that, mean, it was as far gone as probably any tooth you would expect to be. Yeah. And more than just... Uh, you know, from loose gums from uh, decay or anything, right. mo mostly from, you know, from actually literally being punched in the, yeah. in the, in the tooth. Yeah. So that, uh, you know, that one was... I called it the miracle tooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not many people probably have had, you know, yeah. the compound of both the, both the, the bad tooth care plus getting punched in the <laughs> yeah. face to get yeah. it, you know, so that it was a good... Uh, and that was probably, what, three years ago? <laughs> yes, I think three so. Three years ago. Right, three years ago, and, and with the one Lenap treatment on that one tooth I got... You know, it instantly made it better and got at least another year out of it. Probably if we splinted it or, or cut it, right. you know, down a little bit at time, time, it might still be going as it is now. Right. Know, yeah, with just that one treatment. Um, you know, so I'm probably not a good enough complainer. I probably should have been back in to say, hey, the tooth is a little bit longer or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not used to, Yeah. you know, I'm not used to being a squeaky wheel at it. But, uh, but you know me, I, I like the communications. So. Yeah, you got to say something. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you got to really identify your patients that are stoics too, yeah. the ones that don't, the ones yeah. that say, "Hey, it feels great. Don't yeah. worry about yeah. it." You know. Yeah. yeah are but you sure? For, for, for three years, for three years now, we we still we still have your tooth in there. Absolutely. So it's still in there, and, and now looking better than ever, great. looking like it may never come out. Um, yeah. Now, uh, now that. Uh, and if people are afraid of the, the grinding, uh, that because what happens afterwards is your teeth move around a lot, so yeah. they're not all in the same place, and they, <laughs> they don't fit perfectly anymore. Right. So uh, he has to shape your teeth a little bit yeah. at that point. And uh, I wouldn't be scared of that. Um, <laughs> that seems to be maybe one of the best parts of the deal. Uh, I mean, in the sense that, um, you know, that... My, my teeth stopped moving, or, or you know, seem to have stopped moving around now, and are fitting, you know, mm -hmm. better than I can remember them ever having. Did better. you experience any sensitivity from the grinding at all? No, I don't think so. Because so. um, that's what patients are. Is that what they're worried about? They're worried about, you know, the sensitivity if well, just I, from the grinding. What about the? You know, I mean, your tooth is made up of different sections now. If you grind mm -hmm. the enamel of the hard part on the outside, mm -hmm. if you grind past that, is there softer stuff on the inside? It could be. I mean, but or we we usually uh, I, don't I, go that far. Yeah, we usually or, don't even go that far. But you know, that it's possible. Or, or does that stuff harden up and become enamel itself, or no? Is it not, no, it can't change. No, no. But uh, but uh, you know, and. and it depends on how worn the, the teeth are in the mm -hmm. first place. You, you know, your teeth were worn, and yeah. we still have, but you still didn't didn't um, experience any sensitivity. No, no, the, uh, you know, it could it could be you know that that's you know, I, it isn't it doesn't seem to me to be 
there'll be a bad, you know, the, the, it's not painful or anything mm -hmm. like Good. that. So, I mean, <laughs> that's sort of a judgment call. I mean, what do, what do we call pain? You know? and, yeah. and I guess I, I'm guilty of not recognizing it as well as some people, mm -hmm. but, uh, but I don't really think it's that bad. Good. I don't really think anyone's going to. And it's a real crucial step for, you know, for, for the one that. So. Definitely. Um, and because if one tooth is long, you know, if two th teeth are different lengths, and they get uh, they get pounded. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, one uh, won't won't tighten up. It won't right. get a chance to tighten up because it constantly is being hit more than the other. Right. So that making them even like that is um, obviously a big thing to getting them to heal uh, correctly and well afterwards. Um, but I don't think I you know if people are scared of the sensitivity afterwards, I would uh, suggest that that's uh, a little bit overrated. Yeah. You know. Would you, <laughs> <laughs> would you recommend this to friends or family that oh, yeah. who, who need this? Heck yeah. <laughs> I, as opposed to gum surgery, absolutely yes. <laughs> I mean, if that's you know, if that's the thing, I mean, I was in there three hours. Uh, my biggest trouble was um, this guy behind the camera have to kept having to wake me up because I fall asleep. <laughs> I start drooling over everybody or whatever. I don't know, but because uh, <laughs> they're you know because they were so. Uh, we had painless fun. And, and yeah, and we had fun. Right? Relaxed. <laughs> I fell asleep a number of times, and that's that's the, the absolute truth, folks. Yeah. I did fall asleep yeah. in the chair because it was long. It was three hours. Yeah. Bored. <laughs> Sorry. <to say. laughs> well, you had a good nap, right? Yeah, okay. I had a good nap. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, man.